I screen tested for uh, Moulin Rouge. Didn't get it. Had to get the call. They went with you and McGregor. You and McGregor? No. Oh. Uh, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of painful, painful nights spent. You know, loathing. No, no, never, never, really, truly. Mm, this is delicious. I know. How long have you worked here? It's my house. Oh. I love the way you've, you've set it up. It's very free-spirited and, and, and yet still sensible. <clears throat> it's rare to read uh, a script with such beautiful writing and uh, such an unusual story, but where the, you can imagine the playing of these words is going to be so amazing you as an actor you're like oh my god let me let me get my hands on this this didn't disappoint it's the most beautiful he writes for actors i feel like he, he it, it's it's the most incredible quality keep, keep going <laughs> <laughs> you know what in my case for example rodrigo was my obsession during many many years uh, the typical question yeah well uh, who would you like to work with i always said rodrigo garcia rodrigo garcia and suddenly, no, the dream came true. Because I know all his movies. I know all his movies by heart. Yeah, I had an interesting experience, which is that Rodrigo had been the camera operator on two movies I'd done when I was a young man on Reality Bites and Great Expectations. And Rodrigo's eye behind the camera mm. was so sensitive and so delicate, and he was always so interested in what I was doing that. I, I, it was like my primary relationship on those movies was to the camera, to, to the operator and to Rodrigo. We were on the jury at Sundance together, spent a big amount of time together. And right as we were flying home, he slipped me a script with Ewan McGregor attached. And by the time mm -hmm. I got off the plane, I'd written you that I was in. I was the last person to be cast out of this guy. So I was, I knew who I was coming in, coming in with and I was really excited. I'm just massive fans. Uh, we met. A long time ago, long time when ago. Ethan was working with Jude Law on Gattaca, and um, I'm good mates with Jude, and so we we hung out a bit then. Although it's the I think I remember bit. those nights a little better than yeah, you do, you but, may I, do. <laughs> but but they're still not clear. There's yeah. a lot of vague imagery that comes yeah. back and like Oasis. A, albums and uh, <laughs> uh, it might have been in New York it might have been in LA it uh, might have been in London I uh, but it was definitely fun and we thought we would work together a lot and the way that life unfolds one time we were attached to a movie excited to work together and then 15 years go by uh, hmm. and <laughs> so it felt really natural from the first moment we started it feels like we've worked together I know. All our careers. The response I have to good writing is always that the experience of being a human being is not as unique as we think it is. We think our situation is so unique and our problems are so specific to us. And then you, good writing usually exposes the fact that so many people can relate. They have a, it's different, but it's so similar. And the things that we're scared of and the things that heal us and the things that hurt us and terrify us are so similar. And what I, great writing kind of sheds a light on that and kind of brings people together. So it, it, that's, that was my response. Yeah, and you, I you, Ewan said to me, try not to speak after Ethan speaks because he's gonna make you look bad. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> 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 <laughs>